let's continue our syllabus with part 2 for lesson number 4 that is using computer do's and don'ts open page number 32 of your computer books do's do's means rules you need to follow while using a computer there are six points mentioned in your book for do's. Let's read them and understand them one by one. First one is, do form a queue to enter the computer room. Do form a queue. Queue means a line. So, do not run or push anyone while going to the computer room. Always enter the computer lab in a queue or in a straight line. Next point is, do press the keys of the keyboard gently. Gently means softly. Do not press it roughly or hardly as it may damage the keyboard. So, press the keys very softly. Alright. Next is third point, clean the computer with a soft and dry cloth every day. So children, never use a wet cloth or soap to clean the computer. Always use clean, soft and dry cloth and clean, clean it every day to keep it dust free. Next is, do keep your computer covered with covered when, no, when it is not in use. So, when you are not using your computer or laptop, cover it properly to keep it neat and clean. Uh, okay, now the fifth point is, do maintain the correct sitting posture while working on computer okay so we should always sit straight in front of the computer do not slouch or bend while using computer it is not good for your health you may have a, a backache something like that so sit straight in a correct posture all right next do wait for your turn if you are sharing the computer so wait for your turn in the lab so that everyone can use the computer you can use it turn wise without any disturbance one by one all right so there are six points of do's so we're done with that all the points of do's while using the computer. Now let's move to our next page that is page number 33 don'ts. So there are seven points of don'ts. Six on page number 33 and one on page number 34. Okay so let's understand don'ts one by one don'ts are the things we should you should avoid while using computer strictly avoid while while using computer so first one is don't push the computer it can disturb the cable connection so don't push the computer suppose if you want to move the computer from one place to another due to some reason Take help from your teacher or any other adult. Don't push the computer on your own. It may uh, disturb the cable connections. Alright. Next is, don't make the computer room dirty. So, do not throw waste papers or pens on the computer table. It doesn't look nice. Keep it as much clean as you can. 
नेक्स्ट इज डोंट ईट और ड्रिंक नियर योर कंप्यूटर दिस पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लुक एट द पिक्चर ऑन द स्क्रीन कंप्यूटर ऑन द राइट साइड इट्स सेइंग समथिंग व्हाट इट इज डोंट ईट एनी वेयर नियर मी सो नो फूड्स और ड्रिंक एट और नियर द कंप्यूटर फॉलो दिस पॉइंट स्ट्रिक्टली ओके नेक्स्ट डोंट टच द वायर्स एंड केबल्स व्हेन द कंप्यूटर इज ऑन as you all know computer works on electricity it is an electronic device and it works on electricity so if you will touch its wire or cables you may get a shock so do not touch electric wires they are dangerous next don't raise the volume of your computer it will disturb other students and children also we should take care of our environment too and loud music can cause noise pollution so always keep the volume low don't raise the volume of your computer while you're listening to music or any other thing watching movies or cartoons etc next point is do not snatch the mouse keyboard from your classmates while sharing computer do not fight or hit anyone while sharing computers and if you snatch the mouse or keyboard from one another it can break or you might get hurt so wait for your turn do not snatch anything from your partner or from your class mates wait for your turn and turn wise you can use the computer okay so next point is point number 7 it's on page number 34 don't click the mouse button continuously just click it when needed so some children play or keep on clicking the bu uh, button of mouse unnecessarily which is wrong always use it or click it when needed okay so now we are done with our do's and don't i request you all to revise it one more time and after do's and don't next topic is how to turn the computer on and off that we will do in our next part all right thank you